Richard Nwasasra came along with his family for a parenting seminar at the Uganda Manufacturers Association UMA main exhibition hall. He believes that at this conference he will learn more about raising his two children in the best way possible so that they become responsible citizens. Nwasasra told NTV that it's tough raising children in the modern times with the pressures at work. He says by the nature of his job, he doesn't have much time to show the youngsters the right path in life. We have to go out there and work. We have to also look after our families. We have to bring up these children. Whatever happens within the perimeter wall, I mean outsiders cannot control. This father's major worry is the impact the media and technology like mobile phones can have on his children. You look at what the media is exposing children, I mean you feel scared. You feel scared. So he came here with a lot of hope that this parenting seminar organized by an NGO, the Family Life Network, would empower him with new parenting skills. That is the reason why I come with my young children to collect, eh, to correct the wrongs, uh, to find solutions. The facilitators of the conference said there were no two ways parents have to take charge to ensure that their children are brought up well. An expert in family affairs, Reverend Dr. Samuel Luboga, gave parents some tips on the right things to do. First of all, to be a great example. If you're a husband and you are committed to your one wife, and you deal with her in love and harmony, that child will start to enjoy the, your presence and wish to emulate that example. Some of the parents here confess that they had to put a lot of trust in schools to teach their children to behave. We are aware that some of the schools where our children go to are schools which teach comprehensive sexuality education. Some of them even teach uh, homosexuality. We are aware about that. And that's why we are calling on parents to be very vigilant and to be very close to their children so that their children can tell them what it is that they are being taught in schools out there. Sarah Mirembi, a former teacher, says some teachers are not well motivated and will not care how the children behave. And we don't care about what they earn, how they sleep, how they get to work, whether they have a decent meal. If we work on those things, for me, I think the teachers who are there are ready to serve. In the years gone by in Africa, a child was raised by the community. Child upbringing was the responsibility of everyone. But this has now been replaced by individualism as an inward-looking generation. The proliferation of social media and the opportunities and threats presented by new technology have also made parenting much harder. Solomon Kawesa, NTV.